while we was out here shooting the Mosin at uh, 100 yards, I figured I'd run in and uh, grab the 17. I need to check the zero on it. This is the Marlin Model 917V. We're going to be trying some 100 yard shots on a fresh target just to see if we put it on paper. Like I said, I want to get some bags. I don't have any bags right now and I want to get a bipod. So I just kind of set it on this right here. You know, it's I just tacked it down while I was setting up my target so it wouldn't fall off the bench. But I just leave it loose and it kind of gives me a little base and you know, it's got a little elevation right here. So it just gives me something to rest the gun on. We're going to try it out and if it don't, we're going to improvise with this uh, soft cooler. We'll see how she does. Alright, let's give her a whirl and see what she'll do. It's hot out here today.
here's the uh, first target that we was tinkering. With the 17, getting her all set up. You see, she was all over the place. We're just getting used to shooting it off. I've never really been a bench shooter. I always shoot off hand, but I don't guess it's too bad. Target is upside down. It's supposed to be like that. But. I just wanted to show y'all what I was doing when I was tinkering because like I said I ain't never shot this thing past 30 yards just playing with it but I think she'll do good we'll see how she does at 100 I'll put that film in next all right our battery's about dead so uh, to make it short and sweet we've been tinkering around with the 17 I think we got her about running right so we'll fire off a clip and see how she does Alright, let's see how she goes. Alright guys. It ain't great, but we'll take it considering I have a very cheap scope. I have no bipod, no shooting bags. Just what I had. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. At a hundred yards. Just to show y'all how far that is. Here I am at the target. You see my table. Where's my table? There's my table. That's where I was shooting from. 100 yards. It's not quite on a dime, but <laughs> I believe if I had a better optic. Yeah, because I can't even see these holes. These holes are so small from that distance. I can't see where I'm hitting with that optic. So, I can see the red. But, we get a little more practice in. We'll, uh, we'll set us up some dime-sized targets and give her a shot. Until then, y'all tell me what you think.